Thank you, Karen. Welcome, everyone. We are going to go through Affinity University 2.0. I will make this short and sweet, but I've got a lot of really great content to share with you. So to get started, I want to take a brief moment and talk a little bit about the history. Uh, when Affinity University first started many years ago, we had one-hour courses they were scheduled at a date and time similar to today's webinar. You had to register in advance. You had to pay in advance. You had to attend at that time. And what feedback we got was that that was a little bit of a scheduling nightmare. Um, and so we took a couple of years of doing it that way. And we took your feedback that those courses were kind of hard to attend. Sometimes the class times weren't convenient. Um, many times people wanted to stop, rewatch, or pause a course because it was maybe a course on Microsoft Word or Outlook or Adobe. And they wanted to take to follow along the course with um, their own program. And so that was a bit of a frustration when it was a live course. And they wanted to share the courses with other members of their team. But in order to do that, every single individual person had to register, sign up, and pay. And so we took that feedback and we looked at some other platforms and we thought, OK, it's time to make some changes. So we moved to an on-demand, unlimited, one-price platform, which is very similar to the Affinity University you know today. But this was several years back. So what we did is we took those one-hour courses. We put them on a platform where you could watch them at any time. You paid one price for them. And you had unlimited access for you and your team. We continued to get some feedback, though. While that approach was much better, much more flexible, and much more convenient to most of our users, we continued to get feedback. Uh, because we had so many courses, the home page took forever to launch. It was difficult to search for individual lessons inside of a course. Uh, we didn't always get firms loving the idea of a shared login. So if I was a, the person at the law firm who signed up for Affinity University, I signed up using my email, and then everyone had to log in with Jay Ramos at Affinity Consulting. Some people just didn't like that. And there was really no way to report on usage, whether you were trying to see whether you were getting your money's worth, if your investment was a wise one, or if you were trying to keep track of which of your team members were watching which videos, there really wasn't any reporting. So much of that feedback was uh, considered very, very valuable because we wanted to make sure that we gave every firm the re training resource that they need. But at the same time, we do have a goal of keeping Affinity University very simple and very affordable. So we took that feedback. We went to the, the team of people who host our Affinity University platform, and we said, we need it both ways. We need it to be very simple and affordable. And if someone wants to buy Affinity University and share a login and they don't care about reporting, I need that to be a thing that people can get. But I have other firms who want to use Affinity University for more than just an easy resource for training. They want to use it inside their firm as a learning management tool. They want to assign courses to new hires. They want to do onboarding with it. They want refresher training for their practice management or document management or time billing and accounting courses. They want to see who's taking what courses, and they want to be able to talk to their individual team members about professional development and training. And so we went to them. We said we need it both ways. And February of 2019 is when they delivered on that. So what you're going to see is even more change for Affinity University. And that is what we are going to spend the balance of our time looking at uh, today. One of the things that I want to point out about the change is that there are really sort of four big areas where there are change. And I'm going to talk about them briefly. And then we're going to dive into the new Affinity University platform. For any of you who are attending today and you are existing subscribers, it won't look like this quite yet. We're about a week away from launching it. You guys are going to get a sneak peek at the way Affinity University is going to behave uh, going forward. So the first change is that we've reorganized the structure a bit to have a, a, a course and a lesson. Sorry, I stumbled over my words there. So a course would be something like Microsoft Word. And a lesson might be removing metadata or page numbering or format paragraphing or paragraph formatting. So we have a course and we have a lesson. And part of what the benefit is here is that that home page that we had lots of people complaining about took so long to load will load much more quickly because we have fewer courses that load on the home page all of the all of the lessons will load on a different page and they'll do so much more quickly some great technologically technological advances have been made uh, to make these pages load faster 
We also have better searches. When you search for a course or a lesson in the, in the old platform, it was a little bit clunky. So we've streamlined the search and we've made the search a little bit more user friendly so that you can see exactly which lesson contains the particular item that you are looking for training on. We've also added a really powerful course manager option. This is probably the biggest piece of feedback that we got from existing users of Affinity University, and that was, I want to assign courses to my team. I want to track what people are watching. I want to be able to report on individual users and what they've watched, and we just didn't have the ability to do that in the old platform, and now we do, and this is one of the most exciting things that we're going to take a look at. And along with that is we have the user activity reports. So that's all my PowerPoint. I don't have a ton more slides. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to bring Affinity University 2.0 up to the screen. Again, this is not yet live, so you are seeing a sneak peek. So it's not going to look terribly different from what you're used to. It's, um, you know, across the top, you're still going to have a home page, which you've always had. You're going to have a place to go look at all the courses. When I click on the courses button, you will see a list, alphabetical, of all of the courses that are available inside Affinity University. For existing users, you might have recognized how quickly this loaded, <laughs> and like the little Pac-Man figure that you used to get when it was trying to load over 300 different lessons. So you'll notice that we have an action step course, Adobe. We have our Affinity webinars, which is where webinars like today's webinar will live. Uh, we have courses on Amicus Attorney, Centerbase, Clio, Cosmolex, all of the Office products. This is not, I'm not here to sell you on what's in here, uh, just to let you know that these are the products where you will see courses. One of the things that was difficult in the old platform is someone would say, what lessons do you have in Adobe? And believe it or not, there wasn't an easy way to answer unless I did a search and then wrote down the names. But now I can go to the Adobe course and I can see the curriculum or the individual lessons. So you'll see under each course a course curriculum. You'll see the name of the course and you also will see a duration. We wanted to make the durations available to you right away because we want to make training easy and consumable. So if I have a half an hour to kill before my next meeting or before it's time to leave for the day, I don't want to dive into anything too sophisticated, but I have 10 or 15 minutes, I can take a quick look and say, oh, great, I've always wanted to learn how to do bookmarks in Adobe, so I can click on the button to play the lesson, the lesson will come up, and I will be able to watch a six-minute video on Adobe bookmarks. Okay, so you'll notice that this is much different than the prior version. So I can see all of the lessons in the course and their duration. I can click the lesson and I can watch the lesson. You'll also notice that we have a way for you to give us a suggestion. So let's say you're an Adobe user and you're looking for training that we don't have here. Simply click on the Contact Us button, the Contact Us screen will come up, and let us know what you're looking for. We can't promise a 24-hour turnaround of the new video, but we really do want to know what your team members are looking for from a training perspective. Okay, another way to look at what exists inside Affinity University is to click on the Lessons button. Now, the Lessons page is going to be a lot more detailed because these are all of the individual lessons that live inside each of the courses. So you'll notice that I'm only showing 50 lessons at a time, and there are seven pages worth. So that's a lot of lessons. So again, here you can do a search. So let's say that I'm looking for a search. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm looking for ways to enter my time or run timers or something with the word time. So I can do a search for time and literally as I typed, my search results came up. I have time billing and accounting for action step, time entry and action step, um, saving time with batches, um, Orion smart timers, PC law timers, time matters, all of these Cosmolex billable time. You'll see a great variety here from, from that search result. And then of course, all you would have to do is click on view lesson and you could watch that particular lesson. So we wanted the searching to be flexible because one of the things that we learned from the feedback is that people look for things in different ways. Some people just want to go to the course and see all of the lessons. Some people want to go to the lessons and do a search. So we wanted to make sure that we had flexible search capabilities so that however you personally like to search, we could accommodate. 
So when you go to the home screen, again, you'll notice it's just a home screen. Of course, you can click on the subscribe now button. And if you scroll down, you'll see a reference to all of the different courses that exist. If you want to go to the course lists, you can go here. You can also run a search from the course page, just like you can in the uh, lessons page. You can look for categories. So let's say you're looking for document management. What courses do we have on document management? You can select the document management course, hit search, and their net documents and World Docs courses will pop up. One of the things that I think is not necessarily a common use for Affinity University, but certainly could be, is when maybe you're a law firm that doesn't have uh, document management and you're curious about what are what is world docs what is net documents you can use the courses inside affinity university to learn about products that you might want to consider implementing in your firm if you're a subscriber to affinity university you get absolutely everything that you see when you visit the courses page so if you're an existing user, the courses are, are, many courses are the same. We've added more courses that will launch when the new AU 2.0 launches, so you'll see some increased content. But the feature that I really am most proud of and that I'm most excited to share with you guys today is the course manager feature. So I'm going to be bouncing between a couple of browsers because I want you to see how someone who is logged in as a course manager will behave and then what the experience will be for your user, for your team member, who you have assigned courses to. So let's start with the course manager. I'm Jen and let's say I'm the law firm administrator and it's my job to assign courses to students, people at my law firm that need to maybe watch Adobe training or watch Outlook training or whatever it might be. So when I go to my dashboard as I'm logged in and I'm a course manager, here is a list of all of the courses that I manage, all of the courses in Affinity University. And let's say, I'll sort these by um, alphabetically, let's say we are really working as a firm to make sure that everyone has mastered Adobe. So I have the Adobe course here as the course manager and I can click on the manage students button and I can add students to this course who I feel need to watch it. So right now I've got four people from Affinity added to this course. If I need to add someone else, I certainly can. Let's, let's say I think Baron needs a little refresher on Adobe. I can click the Add Student button, and now Baron has been assigned to take this course. Pretty simple. If you need to add your team, all their uh, student names and logins, you can do that using a bulk upload with, a, with an Excel spreadsheet. So don't worry if you are attending and you're a 500 user firm and you're thinking, oh my gosh, do I have to create 500 logins? You absolutely don't. You can upload your list of users with their logins and it takes about 10 seconds to do so. Uh, so there's really no worry there. It's a really streamlined process uh, to do. So I can add people to the courses that I want them to watch. So if I go back to my courses, I might say, okay, you know, we've got, we've got um, people watching the Adobe courses, but I really need to make sure that my time and billing team is up to speed on everything they need to understand about tabs three. So I would go in to manage students and I might only want to add here the people in my, in my firm that need to be savvy when it comes to, um, when it comes to time billing and accounting. So I can add different students to different courses. Not everyone in the firm will need to necessarily take every course. They can, but they don't have to. And that's something that people really asked for. They said, you know, my admin team needs a different kind of, of exposure to these products than my time and billing team. And my, my attorneys need to learn how to do things like remove metadata and convert to PDF for e-filing, but they probably aren't gonna be the ones that mess around with paragraph formatting. So how do I make it so that my, my, my students, my team members are watching or being assigned to those courses that are most relevant to them? And that's what Course Manager does. So what happens with Course Manager is that Affinity University is still a subscription that costs $360 a year for unlimited, on-demand access to all of the training that lives there for your, entire, for your entire law firm or legal department or office. If you simply purchase Affinity University, it's $360 a year. And you share a login, 
and you don't have any cool reporting and you can't do the course manager stuff that I just showed you. But if you add course manager, which is just an add-on to Affinity University for an additional $139, you get all of the power here and you can create an unlimited number of logins. So you're still only going to pay $360 for the subscription and you as a course manager are going to have the ability to create logins for people as they join your firm, remove logins as people leave, assign courses, etc. So, really powerful feature. It renews on an annual basis just like your subscription, but it really gives you the ability to turn Affinity University into a professional development tool um, and a learning management system inside your law firm. What will the experience be for the student, for the person whom, uh, who has had an, a, a course assigned to them? So bear with me as I br bring over just one more browser. Here I am logged in as a student, and in this case, um, Erica at our, at our office. I've used her as, a, as my test case. And so when Erica logs into Affinity University, she has a section called My Dashboard, and she can go to My Courses. And when she goes to My Courses, she will see the courses that her course manager has assigned to her. And when she clicks on the Launch Course button, the course will come up in the screen, and to the left in the navigation pane, you will see all of the lessons that make up the course. If there is a check mark next to the lesson, she's completed that lesson. You'll scroll down and notice that some do not have a check mark, but they have a progress circle. That means that that course is in progress. Maybe she started the document assembly course and then had to pause it for some reason. Same with Word file information. If she's ready to watch the um, Word mail merge video, she clicks on Word mail merge. And once the video pops up here on the screen, she just hits the play button. You can move around in the lessons based on your user's preference. To get back to the home screen, she just clicks on the home button and she can go back to the My Courses page as well. Again, we could see that Adobe is in progress. She could launch the course and see all of the lessons for Adobe and her progress. If we go back to the dashboard one last time, you can also see on each of these courses there's an activity button. So she can click on the activity button and see when she's accessed a course, when she's completed a course, etc. If she needs to report to maybe a supervisor or a manager or a team lead on what she's done in a particular time period, she can do that. This gives your user the ability to self-report, but really what's helpful is the fact that the course manager is going to be able to report on what Erica or any team member has done. So let me just show you one quick thing that we can do here. Remember we talked about my courses. I think that I need Erica to watch the Net Documents course. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say, take me to the Net Documents course. There it is. And I'm going to click on Manage Students. I'm going to add Erica to the Net Documents course. So remember, this is my course manager login. When I bring Erica's login back up to the screen and I just refresh, when I go to my courses now, Erica has net documents. And you'll notice that you can tell it has not been started because Affinity University knows that Erica has not yet clicked on the launch course button. And once she clicks on launch course, she will then have the same access to all of the net documents videos and lessons like she did with Word and Adobe. Now, let's say it's review time or it's time for a one on one or it's time to talk to Erica about the progress she's made on her training. There's a couple of things that I can do as a course manager. First of all, I can go into Erica as a student and just click on activity and see a really long kind of audit trail of, of, of what, she has, what she has done. But what's more helpful is this reports tab. I can say I want to report by student. I can pick Erica. And I can pick the report called course details. When I click the download button, you will notice that within seconds, I have an Excel spreadsheet right here. And when I open this spreadsheet, let me just bring it up to the screen. When I open the spreadsheet, I have a tab that shows me 
all of the courses that Erica is enrolled in. She's enrolled in Microsoft Word, Adobe, and NetDocuments. Word and Adobe are in progress. NetDocuments is not started. Here's when she registered. Here's when she started. Here's when she last accessed it. But you'll notice that I also then have a tab for each of the courses that Erica was assigned to. So I can go to the Microsoft Word tab and I can see she finished these four. Here's when she started them and here's when she completed them. I can see which ones are in progress and which ones she's not yet started. This is a powerful tool. For those of you who are running one-on-one -on -one meetings with your team, who are in charge of professional development, or who are looking at the training that your team has sat through at, at review time, this gives you a way to say, okay, I see that you know, Erica's working on this. So I can look at the Adobe. You'll notice that there's one in progress and two completed. And I can look at .NET documents, which we know none have been started yet because I just added it to her course list. Then you can save this document. Um, of course, when you download it again, you'll need to save it as the next version because it doesn't update the same document over and over again. But this is a powerful reporting tool. And this is the feature enhancement that our existing users of Affinity University were really looking for. That brings us to the end of our webinar. <clears throat> so I want to point out that the new features of Affinity University will be available to existing users on February 15th. So we're just about a week away. Consider it a, a day late Valentine's Day present. And Affinity University Course Manager will be available for purchase on Monday, February 18th. A couple of questions, kind of a frequently asked questions thing that I'll, that I'll do because I'm, I'm guessing that we'll get these questions. You can add Course Manager to your Affinity University subscription at any time. So if you want to subscribe to Affinity University and you're, you're using it, you like it, and you say, you know, I didn't think I'd care about that reporting, but it turns out I'd really like it, we can add Course Manager at any time. So don't hesitate. If you want to start out with Affinity University and see how it goes and then determine if you need Course Manager, we can absolutely add it. So if you are not an existing subscriber and you want to be one, there's some information on the screen here about how to register. There's even a discount code uh, so that you can get a 20% off discount on the annual subscription. Of course, the coupon does not apply to Course Manager, um, only to the subscription. And then we've got information about more of our upcoming webinars. So with that, I will look to see if there are any questions and also then turn it over to Karen, let's see. Yep, there are okay. two questions. Uh, yep, I'm seeing them, so I'll read them now. Okay. Uh, can you upload your own training to be tracked in this LMS? As of right now, no. But that is something that we are investigating because we have gotten that request from a couple of firms. Um, so we are looking into whether or not there can be private and hidden content that only your law firm um, that only your law firm can access. Uh, the next question was how can we access a full course list? I think I did show that on, on the courses page. Um, uh, someone else is just asking me to add course manager. I'll have to ask you to do that in an email to me rather than in this chat uh, section. Um, and let's see, lots of questions coming in as I go, so hold, give, bear with me. Um, how much does the uh, course manager add-on cost? Uh, that was it's $139. It's a it's an addition to your $360 um, Affinity University subscription. Uh, one of the questions is: Is there a grade when they complete a training module? Um, and that no, there is not because these courses in Affinity University there's no there's no quizzes for them. They are they are short targeted training videos for your team to consume. There's not any. There are no quizzes or handouts for the majority of those courses. If you are someone who is a member of our um, client care program, which is something um, that our default services clients are, are members of, there are some quizzes and handouts, but that is a very small percentage of the courses, and they don't actually apply to 99% of Affinity University subscribers. Um, if you have made a request in this chat for me to do anything with your existing account, I'm going to ask you if you could please just shoot that over in an email to me um, so that I can uh, make sure that those all get handled. Okay, I think that's it for the questions. Uh, Karen, if you have any closing comments, I'll turn it over to you. 
Sounds great. Uh, Affinity University just keeps getting better and better. Thanks so much for sharing all of those updates with us, Jennifer. Great, great job. Uh, and thanks. thanks to all of you for attending. Uh, as Jennifer said, a uh, special thank you for joining us today. We're giving you a special discount code for 25, or sorry, 20% 20 off the annual subscription to Affinity University. You can just use this code, the 2019 Web 20. Uh, when you purchase your subscription. Um, and if you enjoyed Jen's presentation today, please come back tomorrow. Jennifer will be kicking us off with a new three-part webinar series tomorrow called, I Know I Need It, But Where Do I Start? All about your practice management options. Uh, you can register for tomorrow's webinar and all of the other amazing webinars that we have coming up at affinityconsulting.com slash webinars. Watch for my follow-up email coming to you shortly with today's PowerPoint and recording. And please do share your feedback with us on the survey that follows. Join us again soon. Thanks, everyone.